Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install a uh, Daisy UI on top of Tailwind CSS on your Next.js project. So let's get started. So Daisy UI is like a component library, as you can see on the screen, uh, for Tailwind CSS. So we already have our uh, project. So we were working on this project before. I, I did a couple of tutorials on this. I can show you this, so th it's just like a like a simple app, right? And we were doing a little bit of routing and whatnot, right? But now we're just gonna install the ACUI and then I'll show you how to change the themes. All right, so go to theacui.com, go to how to use, install, and then here you can just copy and go to the, to the terminal here. Let's install that, all right. Move it a little bit here so that you can see it like that. Okay. You need to have a Tailwind CSS because you know this is like a Tailwind CSS uh, library component. All right. So once you have installed it, what we wanna do is we're gonna go to the Tailwind configuration file, and in this file, you just expand this where it says plugin. That's where you want to add like the DC UI plugin uh, configuration here. So, so let's see. Yeah. So if you go to plugins, you can just you know copy this line, or you can just copy whatever it's in here, or just you can just do something like this, right? Require. Okay. And I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. And here you have some examples on how to use it and whatnot, but so you can go ahead and start using it right away. And then, you know, here it tells you how to create like a class. So instead of writing stuff like this that we were doing it before we tell win, we can just write it like this. And we can just write like, use that component class and that's gonna give us like a button, right? And then we can, you know, style it. And it's, it just makes it easier. We can control like uh, whether it's uh, rounded, give it like a, make it bigger or not, and so forth and so on. So we're gonna go to themes because this is, this is the part that's the most important, I think, for me, just because you can choose different themes and they already come with, uh, you know, some color palettes that you can use. So this is uh, super cool because here you don't have to like, you know, do once again, just start looking for color palettes and whatnot, like which colors I should, uh, how like the buttons be and uh, and so forth and so on, right? So here you have a lot of themes and you can just click on them and it's gonna change, uh, you know, the website itself of the UI and then you can have like a, so that you can see like a visual representation of how it's gonna look, right? Okay, so how do I activate this on my own project? You need to import the themes that you want and then you need to add them, but I'll tell you where to add them because this only tells you to add it here, right? To the HTML, but do you know where it is in the in the project? I'll show you that. Okay. So what we want to do is I'm just gonna copy all of this. This UI. Just copy the whole thing. And go here and okay, and then we'll just paste it like below the plugin, right? So we have all the themes. So you you can just you know get rid of some of them. We are just gonna test a few of them but I'll show you how it works. And let's go to the main page and let's just try to, let's just get rid of most of this stuff that, because we don't need it anyways. And we can just leave like a button. And we'll just say click here or something like that, right? And we can add some class name. So we, we won't add this for now, but we'll I'll show you later, or maybe let's see if we can add. Let's go to use, and then let's, let's just copy this, right? So give, or like this, the primary, right? So that we can see how it changes with the colors. Okay. This is class name. So you, we go here, we have to run the server once again. Okay, so now you have this button, right? So we can get rid of the colors. So we, if you go to global.css and this is the background, like this is the color for the background. So right now it's, uh, I think it's the whole thing. So we'll just get rid of this. 
uh yeah let's go we are not gonna change this so let's just leave it like that all right so this is the default theme that you know that gets applied so let me put this on one side so that i can show you and we'll have this on the other side uh it's a little bit tight let me see how we can make it work all right so what we want to do is let's just close this so we have this so let's just go to the configuration file right so here you have like a bunch of themes and if you go back uh here you also have like you know like the the themes right and like the colors and stuff like that so let's say that you want to try the the light theme right you already added it to the tailwind.config.js file right ts file so then you can just go to the layout in the app and in the app configuration if you're using the app configuration you want to go to the layout.tsx and this is where the html tag is so here what you're gonna do is i think it's you have to say yeah data theme and then you'll just copy the name of the theme right so i'm just gonna do that and let's change this to light and if you go to the website now you can see that the color has changed and everything has changed in the numbers as well so this is the primary color for the for this theme right so if you go to i want to show you like yeah so that's the primary color and you can see here right so let's say that i think it has let me change it to secondary just to see what's that color they're already included so they they already have like their own color palettes and and whatnot see so this is the secondary color so if you go here see this is the secondary color and then these are for other things so let's see maybe not for the buttons i think okay so let's just leave the primary so that we can test other themes all right let's use like a different theme let's say um let's see maybe you want to use uh let's go for this like cyberpunk right so that i can just show you so the first the the thing that you want to do as i said you want to go to the tailwind.config.ts you want to add the themes that you you, you want to have on your project and then you want to go to the layout.tsx which is in like the app folder so here you want to say uh cyberpunk right so you want to change you have to add the data theme and then the name of the of the theme right so cyberpunk so once we change it and if we go to see it in the page you'll see that it changed see and this and it's using now like the the button primary which is that color here and the secondary will be this one right okay so um, you can also like generate your own themes so you know you can like change the colors and stuff like that so we won't do that that today but like you can also do that so let me just try a different one so that i can show you uh, this one is pretty cool like the business one so let's just leave that one business okay and see and the, the color changes and all of that so this uh, helps you a lot because you save a ton of time with the themes you don't have to be selecting like a color palette uh what now you can you know just select one of these themes and then you have saved a bunch of time and if you know you can just go to the theme uh generator and here you can start like you know like changing the themes here so maybe you want to uh, the primary maybe you want it to be like that right so that color the secondary you want it to be like this uh, and here you can adjust everything like accent uh, neutral base 100 info and you can start changing all the things right so if we go back let me so the other one was a neutral accent right so if you go so right now we're in the business one right so these two are the neutral and the accent so Let's try those. Let's see, neutral. You choose neutral. You see that it changed its color, so I think it chose this one. And accent should be this, uh, this one, the almost orange one, right? So, so those are the other two that I didn't mention. See, so that's how uh, how you do it. All right, so I think that's it for this one. Uh, so that's how you install this UI and you start you know, adding your own themes, creating your own themes, or using the existing themes. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. Uh, you know, Subscribe to the channel, uh, share it with other people, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.